So I bought this 80 watt laser from OM Tech uh, about a month ago and it's been fun to use and I really enjoy it, but I want to be able to do repeatable cuts and there's no fence system in this. So in this video, I'm going to show how to set this up, not only on the laser, but also in Lightburn. So I'm using some eighth inch hardboard scrap that I had lying around and I'm uh, drilling into the side of the honey or the frame of the honeycomb uh, bed and you can see here I got six screws into the frame um, and that should be plenty enough to hold it down here's a uh, pro tip for you if you want to quickly raise your bed you can grab the belt on the bottom of it and move it uh, and that'll put it up a, and down a lot faster than actually using the knob. All right, after setting up the just blank fence, or the fence blank, whatever you want to call it, on the laser bed and self-tapping it to the frame of the honeycomb, um, I went through and uh, in Lightburn here, set up a cut that I wanted to do. So I measured out how long the fence is going to be top and then side. And I'll scooch in here. And then in order to get a good positive registration inside this corner, I'm gonna cut out a circle so that you can fit an actual corner in here. It might, even if it's a little wonky or whatnot, um, it'll still fit in here. Now you can see that the side is not as long as the top really for a good fence I mean you just need one well you need solid registration but you need one good solid registration point and then a stop point so the solid registration is going to be the top which uh, the laser is cutting out going along this axis so I know that that line is going to be straight and it's also cutting this one out uh, so obviously both are going to be straight but the longer one which is almost the full length of the bed um, that'll be the, the best positive registration for whatever pieces I'm gonna set up. So after I uh, put in these lines for the fence and the circle uh, for the corner registration, I wanna make sure that this is gonna cut out where I want it to cut out on the uh, laser. So I'm gonna go down here and there's a button it says frame, and I've already homed my machine, but we can just home it again right now to show you. And then after you home your machine, you're gonna want to frame it, uh, just to make sure that you're actually cutting where you think you're going to be cutting. start. So now I'm wanting to find where this position is on the bed. Um, I need to be able to reference where these two lines intersect uh, so that can be where my starting point is for all of my projects. Um, my thought here is, because I've never done this before, but I'm going to extend this line and then I'm going to extend this line so they intersect and cross and then over here there's a set laser position by clicking on the page so I want my head to go exactly where that that corner is so I'm going to click on that and now hopefully wherever I click on the bed that I set up the laser head is going to go to. 
So for giggles here, uh, just to see how this works, I'm going to select, uh, I put a mark on the fence at about 10 inches, and I'm just gonna click here and see if the laser actually goes close to that mark. And it did, so I'm gonna home now and I'm gonna scooch in on this position right here. And I want it to go to right where these two lines intersect. So I'm gonna get in as close as I can. And I'm gonna click right there. All right, we're learning on the fly here. So now, um, there is a tab here that is called Move. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to get my current position. I'm going to go to Manage. Maybe. There you go. Alright, so this screen popped up stored positions and I'm going to add a new position and I'm going to name this one um, I don't know what I'm going to name this how about uh, zero position and I'm going to click OK Now, in my saved positions, zero position popped up, um, and we're going to move the, the head on this laser to some arbitrary position on the bed, and I'm going to go over here, go to zero position, and the head is moving back to this position right now, and it seems like that is working, let me home it, and then tell it to go to this position. Alright, so right now we have a fence set up on our laser, and we've already told it to move to the zero point of that fence by going to the move and save positions and then go. So now I want to start cutting stuff out. Um, and I cut most of my stuff out using uh, just sheet stock that I cut down to fit my laser bed. Um, so the way I'm going to have my machines or my light burn set up is I'm going to start from current position because currently I'm at that zero point and top right is where uh, this is going to differ from for wherever you have your fence set up but this is where it was easiest for me because it's closest to the home position so I'm starting from the top right and I'm going to whatever sheet good or whatever size sheet good I have that I'm using um, this box that I just drew is 14 and a half by eight and a half um, roughly but I'm going to turn that to something that is not uh, seen. There's no output. So I colored it blue. And, uh, well, let me zoom in here. The output is turned off. But Lightburn still sees that there is something there. So my current position being the top right, it's going to be in the top right of that box for the sheet material that I'm cutting out. Now I can put whatever design or graphic or whatever I want in there um, and based on the color, so this is black and I have black set to output, so it's going to cut that out of this sheet good. Um, and you can do whatever else, you can do another circle and then a square or what, you know, whatever your, your job is that you're doing, but you're cutting it out of this piece. And so based on the start position from this piece, you don't have to have this all the way up here in the top corner. 
this piece is going to be wherever whatever size sheet good you're cutting out of and this is going to start from the zero point on the fence because we moved it there i know i'm repeating myself i'm trying <laughs> this is my first time doing this too but this makes this makes sense to me so we're going to move some of these things over here so that we can frame this job just to verify that it's going to cut out from our zero point and this little amount, which is about, uh, I don't know, how big is this? Like six, seven inches by five inches. So let's, let's go down here and we're gonna frame the job and verify that it's gonna cut out from where we want it to. And it does. So we have now successfully set up a fence on our laser with a repeatable position that we can go to every time whenever we start up our laser and after we home it. Thank you very much for watching.